why does it have to be hot as a ball sack in here? That sounds kind of gross, but it's so true. Let's get started. Like girls, that like girls, girls. Hey guys, it's Sienna. So today we're going to be doing a get ready with me video. Oh, get ready with me. That sounded really like I had an accent or something. Today I'm going to be using a bunch of different products from Boleto Studios and that is a makeup brand and then also hair products are going to be from Numi and I'll put all the information about that stuff at the end of the video with discount codes and everything and also in the description box for you guys. I've been really into this peachy type of color scheme happening lately. I think it's because I've been doing spray tan again and I really like the way that the peaches and the corals look when my skin is tanned. That's what we're doing today. I hope you guys really enjoy it. You've been asking for makeup tutorials like crazy, so I figured I got to give you one, okay? Here it is. I love you and stay tuned for my get ready with me. I picked up a few things from the Boleto Studios makeup line. I'm gonna be giving you my first impression about them today. I have never tried these before, so we're gonna start with the face primer. This is the face primer. I've heard good things about this. So I wanted to try it out. Oh, okay, it's very creamy. It's like a whitish color. And I'm just going to, oh, did I, I maybe, maybe I got too much. Just a little bit, <laughs> you know, but uh, that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna use it all. all. <laughs> I'm just gonna smush it into my face. And I definitely think I put too much on. I don't think you need that much, <laughs> but it feels really creamy. It feels like lotion, most likely hydrating. I even put it on my eyelids. And you guys, I did get a spray tan. So that is why I look so dark right now. I laid off the spray tans for quite a while, a year that I haven't been doing spray tans. And now I'm back on board, honey. I am back because I just missed my spray so much. Okay, so now I'm gonna try the BB cream. The BB cream looks like this. That is nice. That's what it looks like. I'm not gonna put on too much this time. Tap, tap, tap it all around and see how this goes on. Should I be putting this on with a brush or with my fingers? I'm not so sure. Usually BB creams, I kind of just blend them in with my fingers. I don't know, I'm feeling like this one is a little bit more like a light foundation. I think it's too light for my skin. Uh, yeah, because I am spray tanned right now. And when I ordered it, I ordered a lighter color. You can mesh this in with your fingers. However, it leaves like streaks everywhere. So I'm thinking I need a brush. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend this in a little bit better with a brush. A light coverage, it was really nice. Not heavy, but it has, it still has good coverage, which is nice. I hear my dogs barking in the background. Sorry, being a bitch. It's been a fucking batch. Like obviously this is way lighter than my chest. That's okay, we're gonna fix it because I got bronzer, baby. I got bronzer. I'm gonna put some powder foundation over this because I want a little bit more coverage for today. MAC Kabuki brush and my Studio Fix powder in NC35 and I'm just gonna put it all over. So on days when I'm not like going out which I actually, I think I am going out tonight. But on days when I'm not going out, this is what I'll do. I'll just wear some BB cream with some powder foundation on top and it definitely does the trick and I don't feel like I'm caked on. And I'm just gonna highlight with my Mana Kadar powder in C3, which you guys know I love this. I use this in like every freaking video. And I just like to have that extra brightness right under my eyes. And then down my T-zone. This is the Pressed Mineral Bronzer in Summer Bliss by Boleto Studio. I'm gonna try this out. Get some bronzy color. Get some shimmer up in there. Ooh, and it is very shimmery, honey. Yes, it is. Way more shimmery than I was anticipating. <laughs> It's almost like gold. I'm gonna need to bronze with um, something that is more matte. So I'm gonna pull out my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and just mix these darker colors together to really deepen my contour. My contour! <laughs> Blend this kind of all over because obviously this makeup is really light compared to my ball day. And it's always better to air on the side of a lighter foundation and then you can darken it with powders and with bronzers and stuff like that, just like we're doing right now today. And obviously you can see it's starting to blend more with my 
body, but it's way harder. You can't lighten up a dark foundation. You just, I'm sorry, you can't lighten up a dark one, but you can darken a light one. So that's why it's good to do that. Oh, I hate when your neck gets patchy from spray tan. Mm, it's not cute. It's not a good look. That That's not a cute look. I'm just saying. Spray tan is like real patchy under there. I don't know, maybe I can cover it with some foundation. And then I'm going to contour my nose. And right under here, blend it on the side. For blush, I'm going back to my absolute favorite, which is the Illamasqua in, <laughs> Illamasqua, whatever, in Excite. And this is like my favorite effing color of life. And it is really orange, but it literally looks good on everybody and you can wear it with any color on your eyes. It's a really amazing color. I'm making it extra bright so you can see it from camera. Sometimes the lights wash you out and you gotta put on extra when you're doing these tutorials. And I'm gonna use my friend Angel, AKA Mac Daddy, his line of Artist Couture powders. And this one is in Double Take, Pinky Peachy Shimmery Shade. I really, really like it. Shimmer that shit up. I don't care, I like to glow in the winter. Now, this is really bothering me, so I'm just gonna put on some foundation on my neck. I think it's helping a little. Is it helping? Can you tell from your view? I think that's a little bit better. Um, this bronzer by Boleto Studio is really, really gorgeous. I think that it works best almost as like a tan highlight, and I think it would look really pretty. Ooh! Ooh, girl, look how pretty that is on the collarbone. If you guys don't highlight your collarbone, it's something that I highly recommend trying when you go out at night. It's just so pretty. It really makes your, ooh, ooh, look at that. Look at them collarbones. <laughs> and I also like to do sometimes my chest. Really beautiful. It's very comparable to Golden Bronze by MAC. Okay, so I have been using the Morphe Brushes palette ever since I received it in a swag bag from the MAC Daddy Party. And this one is 35E is the number on the back of it. So I think that's the name of the uh, palette. But I'm just obsessed with this palette. It's so gorgeous and beautiful. You guys have been asking me for a tutorial on the looks that I've been wearing lately and it's the simplest thing ever of life, what I've been wearing a lot recently. And it's just any of these light tones in here put under my brow bone. I'm not even like being clean about it or anything, you guys. And I don't even need to put primer underneath if you want. I have some BB cream on my lid, so it is enough to make the eyeshadow stick, but I do always recommend using some kind of primer or base on your lids first. And then I've been using this like peachy shade over here, putting that all over my lid. And it is so gorgeous. Like, oh my gosh, so effing pretty this color like what like all the colors in here are really pretty but these peachy ones I'm literally obsessed with I've been wearing them non-stop like every single day for the past two weeks looking so crazy up close gorgeous and I've been into a shimmery eye you guys I've been wearing this shimmery like shimmer shimmer all over the whole fucking face. I don't even care. I just love being like a disco ball. You wear what you like. Don't let anybody ever tell you like, oh, you can't wear shimmer all over your whole eyelid. You need matte colors or whatever. Like you just wear what you like, what you are inspired by in the moment and just enjoy yourself, people. It's just makeup, just makeup. <laughs> so I blend those two colors together just not even like anything crazy, just really, really simple. And then I'll put a little bit under my eye. And then I am just going to try my new eyeliner by Boleto Studio and it is like a marker, felt tip marker. So I'm just gonna test this out. These are all my first impressions of these items. So, ooh, it's very black and I like that. It goes on very smooth, there's not a whole lot of tugging and it makes a sharp ass point, honey, yes. Ooh, I love that sharp point. I love it. I can't tell. Are they even? Are they even? Are they even? Girl, I need to do my brows. What am I thinking? Let's do dark brows today. So I'm gonna use my Kaylin. This is the little brush that comes on the other side. Here we go. This is a brow wax. One brow done, one not done. Be right back with my brows done. 
Okay, so I just finished my eyebrows and then I stuck on some lashes. These are just some like cheapy lashes. I stacked, I think, three pairs together. <laughs> then I put some white eyeliner just on the inside of my eyes. And if you noticed my eyes today, I'm actually wearing Air Optics and they are in green. So if you guys have hazel or green eyes, using the complementary color, which is anything red undertone, is really gonna make your eyes pop. So that's why this like peachy, orangey, red color is gonna make green eyes and blue eyes like really stand out. I'm finishing off the look with the Lip Trio by Boleto Studio and this is called the Lip Surge Trio in the Nude Collection. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? So we have the nude lip pencil right here. I'm gonna, of course, overdraw, you guys know it. Some of you guys really like the fact that I showed you how to overdraw your lips and I'm very, very happy that you guys enjoyed that video. I'll link it below if you have no idea what I'm talking about, how to make your lips look bigger. Ooh, this color is like perfection. It's like just a little bit better than your natural lip color, or mine anyway. Okay, I really like this color. Okay, then the lipstick is almost nude. That's the name of it. This is it. Okay, it's definitely a lot more pink in it than the lip liner, you can see. It's really pretty. Very creamy and you only need one swipe, so it's really nice. And then last but not least, we have the All Natural Lip Gloss and that is gonna go on top. Okay, and then this one is a little bit more brownie nude. It's a little bit sheer, see? It's definitely a gloss, not like a liquid lipstick. It's really pretty, I like this trio. It is now time for her. <laughs> Oh God, oh, you shouldn't do that when you're wearing lip gloss. No, no. God, could I just do a cool, sexy hair flip? <laughs> Fuck, let me try it again. Hair, <laughs> oh my God, it's not gonna work, people. It's time for hair. I was just sent over by Numi the Curl Jam, and <laughs> oh! when I got this thing, I was like, yes! This thing is so amazing. Let me show you a little carrying case for all, oh I'm holding it upside down, for all of your stuff, look at this. So, the gloves, we have the cord that goes to our flat iron in here. You have your curling iron, this is the base of it, and then you've got three different curling iron wands. It comes with three curling wands, and a flat iron, and the gloves, all in this little case, so perfect. It's like everything you ever need for traveling. And I am doing so much traveling this summer that I was just incredibly thrilled and excited to receive this because all you need is just to take this, wham, bam, boom, in your luggage, and that's it, that's, that's it. I love it, I love it. Well today, I'm gonna try out the flat iron because I have never tried any Numi products in the flattening department. I have their, what is it called, the Titan. Okay, so these are actually Tourmaline ceramic plates and also Tourmaline ceramic wands. So they're a little bit different from the titanium. I think they're supposed to be even like better for your hair. Oh wow, you can even control the temperature of your flat iron. So it goes from 140 all the way up to 410. So I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle like 200 ish. Okay, so I'm going to start by just pulling up some of my hair and then I am going to use the, this is the white truffle protective spray. Oh, it's like an oil smoothing serum. Mmm, smell good. I think I'm supposed to put this in my hair while it's damp but uh, oh, whatever, I don't listen to directions. I'll put some in my hair extensions. <laughs> and I'm just gonna straighten my hair one layer at a time and then clip in my extensions. And you wanna take little pieces of hair when you straighten them and go nice and slowly all the way down. And then it should just be one swipe. Shouldn't have to re-go over the hair like a million times. It's not good for your hair. Take down some more hair. Do it again, keep doing it, all the way down.
Okay, so I'm wrapping this hair around the little hair tie, and then I'm gonna pin it. If I can get a bobby pin open. Usually it takes about two bobby pins. Oh my god, is it showing at the bottom? Well, I'm just gonna have to pin it. Is it covering it? Spray the back of it and go like these. And you poof it. Like this. And then you spray it again. Well, that's the completed look for today. And you guys, there is a discount for Numi. If you go on their website, you can get 40% off the entire website with free shipping if you use the code Sweet Sienna. And then you can also get $100 off any curling wand set and a free argan oil if you use the code Saint Patty. So definitely take advantage of those discounts. I freaking love it when companies let me know there's discounts because who doesn't like to get a freaking bargain? I do. No, I don't make commission off of it or anything like that. I just really like to pass on any good deals to you guys that I find. Also, all of the makeup that I used from today most of it was from Boleto Studio and you can also get 15% off of their site and free shipping and that code is Leprechaun so make sure that you go utilize all of those discounts because who wants to pay full price honey not me let's do our fan shout out for today oh man Caitlin, I missed it, your 21st birthday. I know what just happened this past uh, month, I believe, and I meant to shout you out in an earlier video. Caitlin, happy 21st birthday. And then I'm also gonna give a shout out to Rivas J, because girl, you have been hitting me up all over that Instagram, and I just wanted to give you a little kisses and thank you for uh, <laughs> reaching out. And also one more, Heather Huffman. So I love you guys very much. Stay tuned for more shout outs in the end of my videos. Just make sure that you're following me on Twitter or Instagram. And if you post a photo of me on Instagram or Twitter and tag me or hashtag Sienna Spaulding, that way I'll be able to see it. And then you'll be entered for a fan shout out because some of you guys were complaining that all my comments were being inundated with, hey, shout me out comments and you didn't want to see those and it was really annoying so we're changing it now guys you can't just leave a comment you have to repost me I will see it that way and then it won't annoy all the other subbies so I'm really sorry if that was annoying you guys but hopefully this will be a better way so hashtag Sienna Spaulding it can be on any picture. You can repost like a makeup look or something inspired by one of my videos and I'll find it that way. So I love you and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Sienna, so today I'm gonna to be showing you my tips and tricks of how to get your lips looking from this to this. Listen, it's not for everybody. Overdrive.